In the foreground, there's a photo portrait of Anna Mendieta in a red turtleneck, black hair pulled back, hoop earrings, and a fake mustache. She's coolly looking straight into the camera. The framed photo is on a small table surrounded by flowers, an altar. In the background is a recital hall, a small stage with a black curtain, a blonde wood stage apron leading out to a wood floor, all surrounded by balconies. Tess and Martita sit on black bar stools with their backs against the apron a small set of stairs leading to the stage between them. Tess sits on the left. That's me. I'm Tess. She is a white person with an olive complexion and dark brown hair. She wears a white t-shirt with a red image of a rodeo and text that says New York City Ballet, a white button-up shirt open over the tee, and big white sweatpants with coffee and blood stains. On the right is Martita, who is a Mexican indigenous woman with a long dark braid that falls over her right shoulder. She's wearing a navy button-up shirt with a small gray floral pattern, blue athletic pants with white stripes, and a gray vintage Stetson cowboy hat with a beige hat band. Martita and Tess will lip sync to a conversation they had on November 30th, 2020. Every movement prompt throughout the conversation potentially has residual effects in their bodies and therefore may show up later unprompted. As Martita and Tess began their conversation, their heads turned back and forth from looking at each other to looking at the camera in sporadic timing with a mechanical quality. Hola, Martita, aquí estoy. Hola, hola, hola. Tess, Tess. Okay. Carl. Carl. <laughs> Andre. Anna. Andre. Carl, Andre. Okay, okay. so what were you about to say? Uh, about uh, Carl, Andre? Carl, Andre and minimalism. Minimalism. Yeah. Well, I honestly found out about them through you mm -hmm. and I I am a fan of the mystery on self mystery murder kind of shows or whatever or his or stories and I looked I looked it up and I I think he's guilty I'm just gonna go ahead and say that um, I saw his his eyes are one of those um, vision of, you know, that people have when they're gonna like do something to someone. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that in his eyes. Mm -hmm. So that for me made me feel that he was guilty because one thing I noticed is that they're both artists and not in the public eye, but for me, she was more successful than he was. Mm -hmm. Therefore, created to me this jealousy and I'm I was in so there. So you think he was jealous of her? Mechanical head quality loosens, softens, slack in the neck. I think he he was jealous of her and her success. I enjoy his art. I, I think it's interesting but I think it's also kind of like a copy of like. Yeah, copy of what? Of just minimal art. 
I'm, 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 I, sh- I shouldn't say a copy. No, no, no. You could say copy. Because I... It... C- keep going. And, and I think maybe, you know, my, my dates and who came before him mm-hmm. and did things. But I, I see his work and I feel like I seen it. Like it's kind of like, oh, you went there. That's it. That's your, your that's your, mm. your thing. And mm-hmm. I don't want to disrespect any f- people that are fans of his work. Mm. I, I don't know. There, there's something that it, it, it felt that it was not. He was just trying to be like his art was just trying to be something that compared to Anna. Mm-hmm. Her art was her, mm-hmm. and that's what made it very interesting mm. and very strong. Yeah. Yeah. And I could see that in couples where, I mean, not hopefully current, you know, friends of ours couples, yeah. but like famous mm. artists from those times. Mm-hmm. Like, there is something that I feel that happened in, in competition of like, oh, look at my art, look at my art. Mine. Their shoulders loosen, more slack in the joints. I don't know. But yeah, I, I think in what I said, not knowing too much, but just seeing those pictures of him, it, it says a lot to me. The transcription of what happened and mm-hmm. what the neighbors heard. Mm-hmm. And sorry, this is not what you asked no, no, no. as a question, but That's I just, yeah. I think being a fan of, of this kind of topics, mm-hmm. I went with what what happened and, and the fact that the neighbors heard her say no 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 and then body drops or glass breaks body drops he has scratches on his face a groove is forming in their shoulders whoa glass breaks i didn't realize that i didn't i thought that the window was open oh. i mean you know more than I do. No, so I don't know I more than up. you do. No, I are you re- are you referring to the Village Voice article? No, it was something else that I sent you, or you that you. The shoulder groove synchronizes before dissolving. No, found. that I found, but oh. maybe maybe the the glass breaks was just my imagination of the oh yeah of the how right because how things happen. But yeah, you're right. If if it, the window was open, then like no no no, then you're yeah. right because they heard they yeah. heard her right. So then yes. So, glass, no glass shatter. It's just an open window. And just an open window. Yeah. No, 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 drop, and right. he's there. Right. Like. Did you read, did you hear the part about the doorman nearby? Yeah, that's the one. The that, witness. Yeah, that was the witness. Yeah. That's the one that heard that. But he, like, wasn't, they, he had some, like, psychiatric issues oh I didn't read about uh prior to this like this thing and so I my, what I understood is like they discounted his uh oh wow what they he said s- what he said because yeah Carl went to jail and got out he got out on bail on bail yeah and then he was acquitted yeah yeah and and I don't, I don't know his situation and who, which kind of lawyers he hired, but mm-hmm. he obviously had money, mm-hmm. and his lawyers did a good job. Yeah. Because, I mean, they leave their chairs to move solo through the space. Tess tends to stay slack. Martita tends to have precision. Occasionally, they address each other, but they are for the most part checked out. To he- me, he's. And that that's watching, and, and also this is like some true stories of what I've seen before, where like a lot of like husbands kill their wives for money or for you know uh, cheating or having affairs. In your murder mystery, and, yeah, knowledge, yeah, you, that's typical. That's like a common situation. Yes. And, and some of this happens for insurance or because they're having an affair or just, you know, having uh, an argument mm-hmm. and just losing their shit. Right. And just... 
Well, yeah. I mean, it's... I keep going back to, like, what is what was going through his mind because just in tr like trying to understand like I've I've had conversations with people where it's like oh he's like the OJ of the downtown art scene or something you heard that from people that work no 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 just just kind of in, in talking uh, yeah in, talking. in, gen in yeah. talking to people yeah that uh I later remember that the OJ comparison wasn't from a conversation. It's from a Gorilla Girls poster I saw online from the 90s. Because he's the OJ. <laughs> because um, it, it just seems so clear what happened. Yeah. And it's also such a, like, a divisive topic. Mm -hmm. That, like, some people think he did, some people think he didn't. I mean, I've talked... That's why I'm saying. Yeah. I apologize for the fans <laughs> out there. For all the fans. The work is amazing. <laughs> the work is amazing. I mean. But do you think that? Do you think the work is amazing? They return to their seats if they're not there already. For the what fans. You, for the fans. What do you know? <laughs> but for real, what do you actually think of his work? Their hands form lives of their own. I mean, I'm saying, for me, it didn't do anything. Mm. I, I mean, compared to some other artists that do minimal like minimalistic work mm -hmm. or art mm -hmm. it, it, it does something where I'm like it draws me to it mm -hmm. with this I was like ah mm -hmm. there's there's other artists out there that are doing something more than that do you think there's an artist that does something that he does or that's like similar to what he does, whether they identify as a, like, whatever, they're yeah, as no. minimalist or not, or or like of that uh, from if they're from that time, but they do the th they like uh, do the thing that he's doing, but you think they do it better. Martita stands. I mean, that's that's a great question. I I don't know on the top of my head. And, and I can't really say, I mean, Donald Judd, right? They're in the same time, and mm -hmm. Donald has some work that has, you know, more meaning to me than what he's done. But you think Donald Judd maybe did it better? <laughs> no, that you, you say it that way, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> did he? She looks into a camera. Did Donald Judd do it better? <laughs> Who wore it better? Damn it. I don't know. They're both Who fucking white better? and males and... <laughs> um, <laughs> do you know uh, Richard Serra? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, he obviously, yeah. the magnitude of yeah. sculptures is different, but... It's different, but... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that guy. They're both at Dia Beacon. We're seeing them both at Dia Beacon. Okay. So. Yeah. 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 What about him? I mean, that's, that's like my hero. Really? <laughs> <laughs> For getting into that, I'm just kidding. No. Not my hero. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. I think why I'm a huge fan is just kind of, it relates to some of my work. Mm. And and the 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 circle, and the non-ending, kind of uh, sculptures that he makes, to me those are just like, I can just spend so much time inside mm. of them, mm -hmm. and he has many of mm -hmm. them, and and seeing and being in there creates fear and excitement, and it's like all these emotions at once mm -hmm. that. Like, I, I, I dig that kind of mm. art. They move to speak to each other at a distance from across the theater. That's why I said. Non-ending is cool. I don't know what it's called. It's a big steel, like, spiral that mm -hmm. you walk inside of. Inside, and then you get and to the center. And then you're inside of it. Yeah. Do you yeah. get to the center? Like You a get to the center, like yeah. A, and yeah. then you come out. And yeah. then you come out, yeah. 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 Um, I actually was, I went to the Gunning, Gunningham, I can't mm -hmm. never say that word. The Guggenheim, Gunning, whatever. The Gunningham. The Gunningham. The Gunningham. <laughs> You've been there. <laughs> I sound like, in Bilbao, Spain.
they reconvene at chairs. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I saw it there, <laughs> but I they they collected a bunch of his stuff. Mm -hmm. Like it's just like fucking this huge, huge warehouse, mm -hmm. just like one after the other. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I got one of those like I don't know what they're called, but you hear you hear like the the, uh, the explanation. Of oh yeah, each. yeah, 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 yeah. The audio the tour, tour the yeah. audio tour. But yeah. I got it in Spanish. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why I had to say it was in Spain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why would you do that here? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I got it in, in in Spanish, and and I think just like the whole accent, or not the accent, but the Spanish. You know, como como hablan y, mm -hmm. like how they speak to me made it a little bit even more like whoa i'm in mm. this like mm. space and uh, kind of trippy mm -hmm. but yeah that that's 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 why I, I i really i mean and and to just create that magnitude of yeah there's some there's some you know uh, probably money and and things like time that he had to be able to create that stuff mm -hmm. uh but yeah i mean it, the mag the size of them the the weight of them um and have them in all in one room that's why i, mm. I feel for me he's on one of my top did he make the thing of the basketball and the tank or something mm. is that him i don't know Mola. basketball basketball in a, t in a fish tank or something. Ah. Or if... Was that a moment? Like, is one of their acquire things? Quiet. They might have acquired something like that. Is it okay if I make some... S of course. Yeah. <laughs> Martita performs short staccato movement score. <laughs> if I make some sound. I don't know. They're like, what is she doing? <laughs> You're just gonna have to be accountable for all these sounds later. No, oh, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, oh, something. Uh, but wait, I was thinking of somebody else. Agni, no, Agni, what's that other? Ag Agnes Martin? Yes. Yeah, she's at Dean Beacon too. Yeah. But anyways. Yeah. If we're talking wait, what about, about her? More. What about her? Well, I mean, it's a square and inside this geometry. Yeah. But the way that some of the, the work that she did compared to Carl. Yeah. Was... Oh, yeah. That's, that would, you know what? Yes. If I were to ask myself the question that I just asked you of like, who was, um, in terms of the kind of work that Carl makes, and I love that we're calling him Carl, what, what is the. Carl? Carl. No, I love that we're just calling him by his first name as if he were like a friend. Oh, yeah, Carl. Carl, yeah. <laughs> I mean. Tess holds a pretend cigarette. I just, I, I wonder, like, who, if I somehow believe that I understood what, why he makes the work that he does and, like, what his work is doing, I would say, like, oh, no, Agnes Martin actually scratches that itch for me. Yeah. Um, and what is that itch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Well, I don't know. It's, I'm like thinking about like, well, what what would the, be the answer to that question for me? And I think it's like, it's a really, it has a, so much to do with her. Mm. It wouldn't just be like, if because if I just went into a gallery and I saw an Agnes Martin painting, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be as, uh, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Yeah. Martita moves as she pleases on the main floor. Not in a cool way. <laughs> in the way that I would if I had had some context as to who she was as a person. And I'm not saying this is a rule, but I'm just saying this is what would do it for me in lieu of Carl is Agnes. Mm. And... Because she, she made this, um, or she didn't, but I don't know, somebody did, made a documentary about her uh, called With My Back Against the World. Mm. I later remember that the documentary is actually called With My Back to the World. She isolated herself from people. And I 
think she was gay. And I think she was a Buddhist. Or not, maybe not a Buddhist, but she was definitely a meditator. A meditator, and, I was going to say. Yeah, for sure. and she definitely um, was influenced by Buddhist practice, tradition, whatever. Mm-hmm. And she was really just spending this time like looking at her own mind mm. Ooh. she was just spending this time away from society and from people cause she was in the, in, in the documentary she says things like I would ask my mind blah mm. I would ask my mind mm-hmm. this and she was really just in like a di- in a different time code time signature or something from the rest of us because she wasn't like waiting for the kind of reaction or response like that a normal human would take to give she was just waiting for the response of like a her own brain or something yeah I mean that that that's funny you say that because when I looked at her work it reminded me a little bit, and not all of it, but some, in a way, like, psychedelic, like, drugs, you know, and looking inside of the mind, mm-hmm. and, and I see that, mm-hmm. in, in the sense of, like, I mean, they were doing this in the 60s, 70s kind yeah. of thing, where yeah. that was kind of like a thing. Yeah. And... Yeah, and that's the geometry that happens, right? Mm-hmm. Where sometimes that people take those drugs, their visuals are that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not saying she was taking drugs to create her work, mm-hmm. but it's interesting to say what one my mind tell me yeah. and then draw. Right. My mind will tell me when, like, the painting is done. Oh, when the painting is done. Yeah. Like, when it's, when, things like that. Like, she asked, like, she, like, asked her mind a question as if it's another person. So, I don't know if that's minimalism (laughs) or what. But, I mean. But, like, what is that? (laughs) But, I mean, and, and going back to, like, the killing uh-huh. and thinking about your mind being yours, but I think it can also be possessed. Mm-hmm. And then at some point, it, it's your mind, but with some influence of something mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And maybe that sounds really out there, but just, just I'm a Twin Peaks fan. I'm going to say it. They enact small scores influenced by the Judson era. And, and, and it, it, it seems like it, I'm, I'm not, I've never been in a murderer's mind or... You've never um, been in a murderer's wouldn't mind? Wouldn't want to, but I've seen it <laughs> reenact by amazing directors <laughs> uh, <laughs> and actors. Uh, but it, it's, it always seems like it's, it's a possession of the mind. Mm. And something else, like the inner inner demons, or you know, I'm not saying that, you know she was like possessed by. I don't know. Mm. It's just something that I think about mm-hmm. of when the situations happen. It's like, oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> well, who the fuck it was? Yeah, it was like a like, crime, I blacked of passion, out. or something. Yeah, I blacked out. Yeah. I don't remember anything. I just woke up and I had blood in my hand. Well, that's what, like, that's my whole thing. That's, like, why I'm doing any of this. It's just because, like, what did you even fucking say? Like, why, why, what, like, the tribute to her suicide. Like, if it was a suicide, where is that? They knock over their chairs and stand facing each other. Yeah. Like, because it wasn't a it suicide. It wasn't a suicide. Yeah. And would she do a suicide in front of him? Why would you yeah, suicide? Yeah, to prove a point. What would you suicide, like commit suicide in front of someone? I, I mean, I, now I'm curious if anybody has done that. Yeah. But that's a really good point that I haven't even thought about before. 
times when people kill themselves in front of another person? You usually go out and hide. You yeah, usually you do, go to, like, somewhere. Do it in private. In private. So how was that? She's just gonna jump off the window. No, but also it was like the no, no, no was in a woman's voice or in a. It was a woman's voice. Oh my fucking god! Okay, case closed. I mean, I, no, no, no. Why would a woman who is falling who is falling out of a window because she is throwing herself out of a window yell no, no, no? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I was unclear on that. The whole thing is solved. This project is over. Yeah. They turn and face the camera, standing side by side. I um, mean. <laughs> Sorry, roulette. <laughs> it's not happening. It's already over. We figured it out just by sitting here on a full moon. <laughs> they slowly walk toward the camera. The, she yelled, Yo, no, no, no. I mean, that's the, the, the... I'll do a little bit more research for our next meeting, but I think what I read is No, you're like, right, because I've, yeah, I've heard about the no, no, no that the doorman heard. Yeah. And, no, I haven't even thought about it. Like, why would he yell that? Yeah, it would be like, no, don't fucking do it. Don't, yeah. I love you. Like, no, like, not like, no, no, no. That's being attacked. To me, a no, no, no sounds somebody's attacking. I should be, this is what my friends told me, that I'm going to be a detective. If I wasn't a dancer or whatever I am, performer or director, whatever, dramaturge, I would probably be a detective. Let's fade to black. Just gonna end it right there.